Hey everybody, this is Robert Merritt from Community Gamer, and today I'm doing my very first tutorial. I'm going to show you how to do an effect I did on Borealis, a machinima I did. Here's a preview of it. Alright, so what you basically saw was a Spartan that was a ghost. He faded in uh, on a sc on the screen. So, uh, let's do it. Go to Composition, New Composition. Uh, have these settings if you have a HD capture device. If you have a Dazzle, I recommend bringing the resolution down. Alright, so we have our composition. Bring in your clips. The trick is, for your clips, is both clips, or how many you're doing, they need to be, the, the camera needs to be in the exact same place as you notice right here. Blah, 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 blah. As you can see, I kind of moved the camera a little bit. You've got to avoid doing that. Uh, but we're going to try to improvise on this one. So make sure the guy you want to mask in is on top of the composition. And take the pen tool and begin masking him in. And just make a rough outline around him. It doesn't necessarily matter. And there you go. Now as you can see... It looks a little weird. So what you want to do is kind of just try to blend it in. I do not recommend doing this. If you do not have the cameras uh, in the same place, I recommend just refilming. But there are ways of improvising. So once you've done that and you kind of moved it down a little, uh, you can still kind of see a rough outline around him. So uh, hit mask on the clip, M for mask, and then feather it to like about mm, 25 and there you go. Uh, he basically look like looks like he's in the clip. And so now that we've done that, we want to line things up so that he walks off the screen when he fades in. All right. So once you've done that, uh, you want to try to achieve the effect where he fades in. So uh, click on the clip. Go to Effect Trap Code Shine. If you do not have Shine, uh, you're gonna have to find a different way. Go to Effect Maybe uh, Transition. See what's in here. But other than that, uh, I have. No way of helping you if you do not have shine. I apologize. So once you've done that, go to colorize, colorize, and change it to none so that it brings back the original colors. Okay, so what you basically want to do is go to the very beginning. Uh, let's keyframe the ray length to about 70 at the very beginning. Okay, don't see him, so that's a good sign. Have it so he fades in when he's about walking away, so change that to zero. All right, so... The last thing you want to do is go uh, press E on the clip to bring down the effects. Click on Shine. And you see these keyframes. You may notice that this is an error that After Effects does all the time. Usually they do the whole entire effect at the very last end of the clip, and it looks really unnatural. So you want to even it out and make it look, you know, really uh, good. So you highlight all the keyframes, which is two, keyframe assist, exponential scale. And then as you can see, it all evens out, and it works just fine. And that's basically the tutorial. Um, I hope this helps those of you that are new to machinima making, want to get into VFX, uh, you know, all that stuff. I uh, hope this helps you. Um, there are a lot more stuff you can do with masking, so just be creative with it. Um, hope this helped you guys. This is Robert Merritt from Community Gamer, and I'll see you next time.